uh, T3-5, um, and halfway down the run, it looks like blue is play one. Um, so I think I think there's a couple things to think about here, right? So we basically um, we started two, three, five, two, three, six, and um, talking about yellow, and now we're two, four, six. So their first play is to try to get boat eighteen back into the three. Um, on the other hand, the blue team is play one here, so. Uh, the first place boat, which is boat four, they're looking for an opportunity to maybe go play one and get their teammate um, that's currently in third place uh, into first place. So let's just watch how things uh, shake out a little bit. So we here we see um, boat four setting up for the mark trap, and it looks like they may have an opportunity to help... Um, it looks like they're setting up for a trap where six can get around the outside. Um, but it looks like 17 kind of closes that opportunity, and 18's move back to the inside is forcing four to kind of keep the one. So uh, now we're back to uh, yellow being 2-3, two, 2-3-6, three, 2-3-5. Two, three, three, um, and as this mark comes around, 17 and 18 need to work together to... Um, Put the hurt on whoever's going to be um, boat four here, and uh, we can kind of see how this this develops here. We have uh, they're setting up the wall. We got the point, and uh, seventeen is hopefully protecting the back door, um, and this is where we see a quick switch happen. So um, this is where the yellow team takes that that leap of faith pretty quickly. Um, Eighteen tacks off. Um, and they're going back to their other pair to hopefully make that pass back happen. But I think before 18 makes that move, they've got to really make sure that um, their teammate in 17 um, is in a position to have a really solid pin. I think the other thing to think about, and this is obviously the Monday morning quarterback talking, um, ideally you want to be taking that coverage back to that other group um, because that will allow for the most options. Because as soon as 18 peels off here and they sail down, um, the blue team is in a quick play one. So, um, and four kind of recognizes that. Four does a good job of kind of coming back down and, and understanding that this is where the pass back needs to happen for their team to win the race. Um, and 17 realizes that they need to do a lot of work to prevent this pass back. Um, from going down. We can see how the groups are pretty imbalanced right now um, and and blue is kind of winning that imbalanced uh, drill. Um, on this other side I think we got to think fleet race, fleet race, fleet race and if 16 is able to kind of get out and hook into the right kind of coming into the top then they need to try to do that as soon as possible. Um, and we see how um, Four kind of locks into 17 and allows their teammate in boat six to kind of sail free and clear. And six is going to have a lee bow here on, on 17, I think, or a, or a close duck going right, um, which allows them to quickly kind of go um, to beat play one or, or one two um, on the beat. So I think there's a few takeaways with that. Um, one, when you make that leap of faith, when, when the two is trying to um, pin the four and the three is trying to go after the five, um, you have to make sure that your pairs are, uh, that the groups are really balanced and um, whoever is staying on the four boat has a really solid lock on them. And ideally you're trying to lead both groups back together because as soon as you kind of create that imbalance, you're allowing the other team to go play one in a relatively easy play one. So um, you got to be really aware of when you're kind of taking that leap of faith and you, and you have to have your teammate on a really solid lock. But a good, good team race and um, I think lots of lessons to be learned there.